In today's video, I'm going to show you what a curl fanatic I am. Instead of creating what I think would end up being 11 different videos, I'm going to show you all of the different curlers that I have ever used, or curling techniques I should say, and um, instead of, since I'm not going to go all the way through the end and show you the next day, blah blah blah, I'm just going to insert uh, results pictures from when I've done these curls in the past. So um, I have my towel sitting on my lap because you might have seen if you follow me on Instagram on Facebook that it is very rare that I actually wash my hair um, and curl right away. Um, as many of you know, especially those of you with longer locks, the drying process is forever. Either you're going to sit under a hair dryer for several hours, which I just don't have the tolerance for, or, or you're going to need to air dry for several days. Um, so that is possible with some of the curling techniques that I'll show you. But um, with others, you're going to have big blue, purple, or orange things in your head. So several days doesn't work. And if you're not into the hair dryer like, dryer like me, then you'll, you're going to want to do um, air drying overnight. So I always, after retwisting a day or so, sometimes it's the next day. At this point, I think the last time I washed my hair was Sunday, and today is Thursday. I always moisten my hair with a spray bottle. So I will wet it I'm not gonna go all, th all the way through it but I wet until I squeeze and there is it's clearly wet all the way through not dripping wet even if when it feels pretty wet it's never as wet as it is when your head is just coming um, out of the shower or sink wherever you wash your hair um, so this is my technique and with almost all of these curls that I'm gonna show you I can air dry overnight there are varying levels of comfort when it comes to uh, sleeping on them but sometimes I'm willing to tough it out and that's why some curls have become my favorites. I have this size I have found was what worked best for me and then you can see kind of how long my hair is or if you want to see from the back if you want to compare your hair to mine how long it is. Um, these are the curls that I used for my wedding. My hair was pinned up, but I will insert a picture right there um, to show you how that looked. And this is the three eighths of an inch thickness. I have also used the white ones, which are seven sixteenths, slightly larger. Um, if your hair is soaking wet, you're going to get a tighter curl. Since I never use soaking wet um, hair or never curl from soaking wet hair, this was what worked best for me with what I was willing to do. I curled my hair the night before my wedding and everything was great. I'll show you those curl results. I've also in the past tried these for a looser curl. The larger the curler you use, and I thought this looked appropriate considering how long my hair was, but the larger the curl, the quicker they fall and they drop pretty quickly. Um, even if I've done soaking wet, drier, it, it, they just, the bigger the curl, um, the, the more often you're going to have to curl it to maintain the same look. So I have not used these in recent years, I'd say, but give it a shot, see how you like it. So let me start with the um, 7 16th of an inch rod. I'm moistening my hair. I would normally do this with a group of locks because of course I'd be doing my whole head. I am spraying until I can feel that my lock is wet all the way through, not necessarily soaking wet. I don't want that. So I'm going to roll this underneath. I have it slightly angled so that this, as I roll under, I am going to trap this lock in place. That's what keeps it still and then I'm gonna keep going. I am making sure as I go that I don't have the lock overlapping itself. The lock is, um, as I'm rolling, is touching the curler only. It's not on going on top of other locks. When I get to the top, my lock has untwisted a little bit. So I'm just gonna twist it here to retighten that root. and then close it. I put one lock on per rod because that's how I achieve a perfect spiral. It also decreases drying time because if you have locks laying on top of locks, 
Of course, the ones underneath aren't getting any air, so it takes longer to dry. There's nothing wrong with that. For me, it's just about time, and I like the perfect spiral. If my locks overlapped, for instance, if I wanted to put two, my, my trouble is with length. Let's say I could put, want to put two on here. There's no way I can do the spiral thing, and I'll show you why. Because it's too thick, and I would run out of space right in no time I've run out of space on that curler even if I try I slide it down I've run out of space which means I'm going to have to overlap which again is going to impact that spiral perfection that I go for anyway not that that's what you need but if you want to use more than one lock on a curler then you're just gonna kind of just roll it on top of each other and you can see that that's gonna be curly but it's not that perfect ring so that's the technique with the perm rods. Same thing goes for any of these. So here are day one results. I think that this is probably my favorite picture ever. Perfect spirals on day one. Here are my wedding day photos with the pinups. These are about day two or three. They start to drop a little bit. In this photo, you'll notice that I don't have perfect spirals. I tried something a little different and curled my hair in the opposite direction. I curled upward. And the perk to this is that I didn't have to retwist my roots once I got to the top because I was spinning in the same direction as I palm roll my hair. But the curls were all over the place. So I did not keep my hair down for very long. I started doing pinups almost immediately. And the curls looked great in the pinups, but I didn't like how it looked when it was down. Next, I have shown you the wrap -a lock in another video. Um, here, I purchased the long wrap -a lock because that's what I thought I needed for my hair, not even close. Um, I was able to cut them in half, and this was long enough for me. I'm not going to go into detail with this particular technique because there's another video for it, uh, for it so check it out wrap -a lock. Um, but what I will show you with the wrap -a lock is a curl called the ribbon curl. I posted pictures of this before and said it was completely not worth it. It was absolute torture um, doing it and taking it out. It was so time consuming. For me it's because I did one lock per curler because that's what I always do and my locks are pretty fat. I only have 97 locks. You ask me all the time. I have 97. Um, so it's not as long as those of you who have well over a hundred but it still was tedious. But let me show you the ribbon curl. So let me try to find my lock that's already moist. Here she is. You can do this with um, a wrap -a lock tool, and I forgot to mention, or a pipe cleaner. This is also quite possible. You fold it in half. So here's the technique. So you just pick a direction. I'm going to go to my left first. I'm going to go over. I'm bringing it under and then over. Over this way, then back around underneath, then over, then back around underneath, then over. And I'm just weaving it in and out. And so once I get to the bottom, I weave it as far as I can, and then I'm just going to wrap one end of the wrap lock tool or, or the pipe cleaner around to keep it in place. This creates a really beautiful, interesting looking curl. But um, unlike other curlers where once you open it, you can just pull it out and your curl just kind of spirals out, this doesn't open up the same way. So I'll show you, I would let this air dry overnight or however long you'd like, and then I couldn't just pull to get it out. It's not happening. 
so here I literally had to unwrap each one I think it still took me with my 97 locks about an hour to take these out of my hair it, it was just torture I'm so glad that I have a job now where I kind of make my own hours because I definitely would have been late to work as a teacher messing with this so you should give it a shot those are ribbon curls and again that works with this or the pipe cleaner Um, I have used pipe cleaners um, just as uh, I mentioned in the wrap lock video with um, just doing a straight spiral. I have also, you know, doubled them up a little bit and um, I put more than one lock, two, three, four on a pipe cleaner just to see the result. And um, here it is. I'm showing you that picture now. This is how it looked when I put more than one on a strand. Just a different look. Not better or worse, but again, not a perfect spiral when I put multiple locks on it. We'll go on to perm rods. I have, I have them in different sizes and shapes. I was trying to get a look when I bought these giant things that were, that kind of just made my hair look like it was wrapped. It was, I, I'll show you the picture when I used them. I didn't think it was that successful, but clearly I put more than one lock on this. And I have to struggle because the front of my locks are a million different lengths. I'm just going to try to hold that in there. And here it was important for me to just, I'm holding my finger down to make sure they don't come out and rolling under. This little lock that I have here probably has no hope of getting in there. I'm just going to pull it out and then I bent it. Um, I actually did try to, att to attempt to use a hair dryer for this and it was ridiculous because they were so big. My dryer at home was not large enough to accommodate this. The cr it literally just like bumped my hair like this. Um, I don't even know if, it's, if you could tell that that's what happened. Um, didn't feel worth it but I also feel like I might try it again um, with a slightly better technique. It just you know, gave a slight curl, which was an interesting look. These, I think I got for the same purpose, but just for some of my locks that were shorter. I think that was my goal with this. I don't know. The last time I used this, I think was a year ago for my birthday. And I'll post that. I'll show you that picture. Um, but I never did it again. I guess I didn't love it enough. This I've done most recently and I did it um, this is a time saver I found because I definitely did this with more than one lock at a time. My challenge, and just please know that you're not alone, is the different lengths of locks that I have. I didn't cut it, it's just the way it is. So that's one of the biggest challenges with doing curls um, for when you use more than one lock on a roller is that it's hard to find locks that are similar lengths it can be a real pain. So I'm just going to go with this. Again, I would moisten the whole section. And I'm just going to have to leave these other locks out. Actually, you know what? I probably would just do two and two here because it's like the, the length is so dramatic. And so here I do the same thing crisscross so that the lock stays in place. I can, because I have the space with these locks being so short, I kind of spiral it. Um, again, when I say spiral, I mean I continue to move to the side so that the lock is not overlapping itself. It just continues to roll. This makes it easier to air dry because all of your locks are completely, completely exposed to the air. I'm saying that instead of this, where I'm just continuing to put the lock, the locks on top of one another. This makes it so that I could get more locks on there. There's so much space left, but the, the tips of your hair are going to take forever to dry because they're not exposed to the air. So this is before. Here are the results of this curl. Check it out. 
Um, I thought that that was pretty. It does not last very long. It fell pretty quickly. I mean, I had, uh, I had curls for days, meaning that my hair was not straight like this. It had like, it had a texture, it had body, but it, it looked different within hours. How I started off in the morning, like my hair might have been here and it was like down an inch or so by the end of the day. So if you want curls that are gonna last for a couple of weeks, this is not a good, op it's not a good option to ha put multiple curlers, I'm, I'm sorry, multiple locks on a curler. They just don't last as long, but because I was able to put so many locks on each curler, I, um, it was really fast. I felt like I set my whole hair in maybe 30 minutes. So So the next curling technique I'm going to show you is lock knots. Um, I and I'll say that again, lock knots. I like I lock knots became my favorite curling technique for a, a long time because after doing stuff like this and hard things like this, sorry, I just threw a curler. Um, I, I couldn't sleep well at all. Wrap a lock, very easy to sleep on, so I liked that. This became the next best thing. You don't need any tools for this. So I start off with, again, making sure the root of my hair is secure. This takes a while to master, so you have to find like the perfect point um, in your own hair. So I am going to say maybe a third of the way down is where I'm going to start to fold my lock because I do, I am going to end up wrapping up and then wrapping back down. So about a third of the way down makes sense. I hold my finger secure here and move my hair around that. I actually feel like I should go up a little higher. So now with this loop I've created with my finger at the bottom, that's how I'm securing the lock. I am wrapping around, I'm wrapping my lock around itself. And once I get to nearly the top, and I already feel that I'm going to need to go up higher. So again, this took me a while. It's tedious, but once you figure out your own hair, it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to go down maybe an inch or so. Um, I mean, maybe two. I don't know. Forgive my math. Same thing. Keeping my finger in the loop to secure it. And I'm starting to wrap my lock around itself until I get close to the top. I, I am intentionally avoiding my hair that is not fully locked yet. Um, because if you go all the way to the top, like I say in the wrap -a lock video, your hair is going to stay in that shape. So you're going to have something like this in the morning if you go, leave, if you go all the way to the top. That may or may not bother you. It bothers me. I like my hair to lay down. So now I've gotten to the top and I'm going to start winding back down. So now I'm wrapping my hair around two layers of locks. And now I've gotten down as far as I can. This, my finger staying in place was crucial. I am going to stick my hair, the tip of my hair through that loop. I'm pushing it through. Pushing through the loop. So I hope you can see that. And there is a lock knot. Again, this is tedious to get the hang of because what will happen is if you didn't measure it exactly, and I'll do this really uh, quickly. Let's see. I'm going to go up and I'll go if this if I folded it too far down, I'd get all the way to the top and almost be out of hair already, which means that I, I either can't make it all the way to the top or I definitely can't make it back to the bottom, which means there's nothing to secure in the loop at the bottom. So folding it at the perfect place takes some time, but once you get it, um, you get it. And um, then it kind of moves smoothly after that. And especially if your locks are similar lengths, you'll get the hang of it quickly. So the plus side to lock knots is it is completely easy to sleep on. For those of you who like your hair to look short and like this look, 
you can rock it as a style. Nia Tanae of Locks Revolution does it and looks gorgeous. I don't think I look nearly as cute as her, but her locks are all the way down to her butt and so it just creates a different effect. Um, I tried it once. I just I just couldn't I just couldn't do it. I didn't think it looked cute on me, although other people gave me compliments. So I again moisten my hair, air dry overnight. So this is how it looks when my whole head has lock knots. And these are various curl results that I've had with lock knots. It's been inconsistent. I think the inconsistency comes from how moist my hair is. And again, I've never done this from soaking wet hair. That's just my personal choice. Um, but the tightest curl you could possibly get is from soaking wet hair. Um, but you'll also, of course, be waiting quite a while for it to dry. Which, if you want to rock the style in the meantime, is not a bad thing. So that's lock knots. Last but not least, I have rag curls. Um, this is an old school technique that I hear people used to use brown paper bags or ribbons. I've heard twine. I've heard so many different things. Paper, uh, random newspaper. I've heard quite a bit of things. I personally use tights. Um, the tights that I wear in the fall and the winter. I have a variety here. Black tights. Anything I, I after they've had a, a good run over the cool seasons. I have taken various types of tights and I keep them all here in my little bonnet which I sometimes wear when I um, go to sleep um, especially with curlers on again not consistent it is not the reason that my curls last it's just one of the things I do so I have as many different types tights as you can imagine so now I always when I've posted pictures of, of this I've had people ask how long are the tights you use? What type of tights do you use? How thick is it? How, it, like all these very specific things, and I love you guys for your detail-oriented nature, but I don't know. I mean, it's it's really random. So I'm gonna, here's, let's, let's, let's answer this, this question once and for all. How long are the strips that I use? Let's see. It is about, nine inches this one let's see how consistent that is because i doubt it's consistent that is about eight inches and then i'll just show you the rest compared so i had a nine inch an eight inch this one probably looks like a 10 incher um so I guess we can say between 6 and 10 inches are the strip sizes that I use. The thickness, like from top to bottom, is hard because it starts to roll. But that's about the general thickness to, for all of you who want to know exactly, exactly what I do. Um, which please know that I don't do anything consistently. This is 3 inches thick, okay? In case you don't believe me. It's about 3 inches. Again, I did not measure these to do it. I just kind of eyed it. And I guess I was like thinking about how long do I need this to be to curl my hair appropriate based on appropriately based on the length of other things that I use. Look at that. It's almost the same length. That's what I had in mind because at the, you know, it's kind of the same idea. So if you have if you want to do something exact, if if measurements make you feel better, then measure your tights to be the length of Typical perm rod. Got it? So now, this is another fast technique for me personally, and I always use more than one lock to do it. So, I'm going to start with my little short baby locks in the front. I'm moistening it. And I always squeeze because I'm just, I want to feel that the moisture has gone all the way through. And that feels pretty good quick little touch up of my roots. Now, I'm going to take one of my pairs of tights and let's see if I, 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 I'm not sure. I'm using the same technique where I am wrapping the lock around and I'm holding with my finger and then as I wrap, I'm letting the, the, the locks 
overlap that first one just to hold it in place and it takes some finger work to get that perfect and then once I do it again I could roll the locks on top of one another but I tend to go sideways again to get um, that air exposure and with these I'm not as consistent because it's tricky with with the rag being um, flimsy I'll say that it's trickier now I'm going back a little bit just because I feel like it's not staying very secure it's wobbly so now that I've gotten to the top I am just going to tie a simple knot at the top to hold it in place I'll do it with a few more locks just so you can see and again I'm gonna do this by length this would be a pain in the butt to try to make work so it's just not worth it I'd probably do two again let's see if I can show you a bigger grouping these nope again big difference in length this is you know can be a pain so let's see let's do three I'm gonna be happy with three I'm not gonna moisturize it because this is just pretend I'm gonna take And because I have more locks, I'm trying to find one of my thicker tights just because it feels like it's more stable. And notice I don't, I'm not stretching it out or anything. Being in a ball is cool because it kind of makes it more solid like a curler. So let's pretend my hair is moist. I'm holding, I'm, I'm wrapping it at the bottom and kind of holding it in place with my finger as I round, roll it around. And again, the key is to roll and make sure that the locks on top, as you roll, are holding that initial piece down. So now it's on. I might overlap it a couple of times just to make sure that it's there and that it's holding. And then I start to move from side to side again so that the locks can hit the air as it dries. you can see it's not simple it, it takes me holding my locks in place quite a bit to do this well when I get to the top I'm tying it up so again this creates curls with more texture and body not um, perfect spirals by any means it just gives your hair some life which I like and it lasts pretty well one thing I found is that with rag curls um, I think they actually dry faster than these so uh, basically the time commitment I feel like is about the same for both of these curlers the look is similar I'll show you pictures um, but I think because these are fabric that my hair actually dries, dries faster that's just been my experience um, but then these are easier to actually roll these are easier to sleep on um, this you just buy and you don't have to take time tight um, cutting up your tights so there's pros and cons my favorite curl results have come from the wrap -a lock and the perm not the perm rods the wave rods um, in terms of those spirals I think they they just last forever again because they're the tiniest curls and I think they're absolutely beautiful um, but in terms of what's fastest I would say it would be this when I use multiple locks on a curler and these and that's all because the look causes for me to put multiple locks, locks on a curler lock knots are easiest to sleep on these are easiest to sleep on um, lock knots are very tedious because you have no choice but to do one lock at a time so it's time commitment it's a lot of time commitment all of these other curler choices that I showed you can always put more than one lock on a curler so I ended up primarily using the perm rods I just wanted to show you some things I have to do I have a lock that's about this long literally half the length of everything else and um, so clearly couldn't get in a curler with any of the other 
locks so I gave it its own little curler over here same thing I have a pretty uh, a short lock here that doesn't line up with anything else I didn't want to use a perm mod just for that one curl for, for that one lock and I think I might have some other random one up here um, this lock was kind of long but it ended up being by itself I didn't have any more curlers left so I mix and match and because I put two to four locks on each curler in this instance the curl pattern is going to be all over the place anyway so I didn't mind having these little random curls so I'll show you the results in the morning see you then good morning so this is how the curls came out um, you can see these sections show how many locks I had on each it's about three on average one two three and I'm probably gonna separate this oh I had one that was a little bit wet at the ends so to, one thing I might do I can run a blow dryer over it or um, just leave it in until I get to work because it's only slightly wet and it's only at the tip but that'll make the difference in making it fall or I could take this out and the lock that's wet I could just do a lock knot so that it's very inconspicuous and I'll take it out later this afternoon. Those are a few things I do. Um, one of the things I was going to tell you is that whenever I do more than one lock on a roller, um, as I roll up, my locks untwist quite a bit. You can see that's not nearly as neat as it was last night. Um, so I am likely, just in the, these locks that I can see here, and these locks here, and I know this doesn't look bad to be clear, but when I want perfection, and often I do, I will just moisten just the root. I'll twist that. And I'll do it to, let's say a couple of locks at a time. just clip those. So I'll probably do that to these like four locks here, maybe a couple back here, and to these ones in the front, and um, just so that it's back to the level of neatness it was. I had just twisted my hair. Um, but when I do one lock at a time, I can always retwist the root and I don't have this issue. So again, I know this doesn't look bad. I could leave, um, but I just want to show you something that I do. So this, I'm going to let air dry until I get to work, and then it'll be cool. So anyway, here are the results. I will take some pictures after I separate these, because um, I don't want to fully separate until I um, see, until I retwist this. So I'll just do photo results of that. So anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. And again, ask me questions on Instagram and Facebook. You'll probably get a quicker response. I'll try to get to the YouTube questions as soon as I can. All right, talk to you soon.